So, YouTube decided to screw me over and mark the original video as made for kids. Now, I have stated multiple times that this channel isn't made for children, but apparently YouTube's AI system is just completely broken at this point. Now, I tried sending an appeal to get the video unmarked, but again, YouTube's AI system just didn't care at that point. So I had to delete the video, and I've now had to re-edit the bloody thing. Anyway, en enjoy the video. So, it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. So it's no secret that when I was finished with the first custom spotlight video on Timothy, I did not really know where to go from here. I did have plans to make another custom model of another OC that I'm sure a lot of you guys have been screaming at me to make, but I didn't have the time nor the money on me to make him yet. So, I kind of just left Custom Spotlight in limbo for a bit. Over time, however, I started to get dissatisfied with my model of Timothy. So, I kind of just made a 2.0 version of him. And that's what this video is going to be talking about today. With that being said, let's jump right on in on how I made this new Timothy model. Obviously, I couldn't just jump straight into this, because I had no idea what livery I was going to use for Timothy. I didn't want to just reuse the light grey and red paint scheme I was going for previously, so I looked to my friend Elias for help, and they sent me these sprite images. And an idea clicked into my head. What if instead of a light grey and red paint scheme, I gave Timothy a dark grey and white paint scheme? And with that, I jumped straight onto Blender and whipped up this. And this would be the basis for Timothy's livery. After that, I quickly rushed over to my local Walmart, got some paints by Apple Barrel, along with some sanding blocks, and a all in just go push along Percy and Bruno. So with all the materials I had on hand, it was time to paint this boy. <laughs> Sanding down this guy was a nightmare to do, but once I was satisfied with that, I began spraying him in a primer coat. Then I sanded him down, and then resprayed, and then sanded down, and resprayed again, and sanded- This was a very tedious task to do. After that ordeal, I began painting him. The main color I use for Timothy's body is called Dark Blue Gray. Once he was done drying, I began masking him with Tamiya masking tape. Anyway, after I was done masking him in the correct areas, I began painting his smoke box and cab with a matte black. After letting the paint dry and removing the masking tape, I began applying his white lining. And suffice to say, my patience was starting to run out with this. So after the paint had dried yet again, I decided to take a little break and put his new body on top of my Playroll Thomas footplate. Now obviously I was not going to use the Playroll chassis for the model, as I had plans to buy myself a uh, spare Thomas off eBay for parts. After that I began applying the lining yet again, along with his window lining and cab detail. Now when I tried to fit a battery into this guy, I realized that the body wasn't fixing itself to the footplate very well, so I had to cut some plastic out of the interior so that the, the body shell would fit onto the footplate. I wasn't proud of myself in that moment. And with that, I decided to leave it there and call it for the night. Friday eventually rolls around and I now have the new Playroll Thomas. I immediately took the thing apart and placed Timothy's body on top of the footplate. Thomas' original footplate was then reunited with his body shell. As for what I was going to do with the other body shell, I feel like that's a different story to talk about. Now, originally I did not have plans to weather the footplate and paint the sides of it black, but thank Christ above I went through with this, because this looks really good. At least from my perspective, I don't know what the hell anyone else thinks about this. I also made sure to seal all the paint in with the matte clear coat. I was pretty much done with the footplate, however, I still had to finish up the body. I ended up painting whistle details on the front of the cab, as well as giving him the rest of his window detailing on the other side of the body. And eventually, the rest of his white lining was also applied. 
Around this time, I had also started making CGI faces, so naturally, Timothy got the same treatment. Now, I was originally going to use the model from DD Plays Timothy to use for the face base, but then something came up. See, this is what we call being fucking stupid. Okay, so knowing that the internet hates me for my shitty actions, I just stopped working on the Timothy model completely, just to let everything die down for a bit. And I kind of forgot about him for like a good two weeks or so, I guess? Time really goes fast when you think about it. Anyway, I decided to get off my lazy ass and continue working on the model, starting with finishing up the window detail. Thankfully, the windows didn't turn out bad. As for the space between the wheel arches and the tanks... It's bad. Oh god, it's bad! Good thing I'm more of it! Ugh. It's fine. It can easily be fixed. Well, it's not perfect, but it'll have to do. I began adding the final paint details to the model, and then I went swiftly to bed. I ended up printing the faces for him, and... He was pretty much complete by this point. As of right now, I don't have plans to give him any lettering or numbering, but that might change in the future. <laughs> now, since the original video, I have made some updates to Timothy. He now has a new face to match up with everyone else in the collection. And yes, I am adding lettering and numbering onto his side tanks and bunker. The process is going good, I just need to finish up one side on him, and then he'd pretty much be done at that point. Now, the next custom spotlight is going to be focused on Stuart. This model is... Oh my god, there is a story to him. I don't know when that video is going to release, but I'm hoping it releases before I end up getting a job at Amazon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Bye.